Getting things done nation, listen, your fam, your boy is back from AWE 2023. And a lot of you been asking, hey Jay Dunn, what did y'all actually see while you were out there? Well, if I have to put it in words what we saw, I guess you could say we were all left in awe, <laughs> pun intended. Let's get into it right now. Yo, 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 it's your boy Jay Dunn and welcome back to Getting Things Done where we motivate you motivate you to get things done through faith and relevant technology listen today we're talking all about awe 2023 that's right the all minute world expo thanks to snapdragon and the incredible insider program we were able to fly out to california and see firsthand exactly why the all minute world expo is something as a xr evangelist and vr personality we just could not miss it was just some of the most incredible tech packed into three days of mayhem but i don't want to waste any more time i want to go over the overall theme of what i really learned at awe 2023 from the time living in california and got to the expo we were able to sit in on some speaker ships where they actually was talking about some really cool technology that snapdragon is building out for its xr and ar platform one of those cool technologies is all about dual render fusion it was an incredible keynote where they were speaking about how they're going to leverage the power of smartphone devices to allow for augmented reality applications to use the touch screen of the phone but vice versa taking the app that's built in unity or a game that's built in unity and bring it into augmented reality let me tell you guys it was just absolutely incredible and seeing the technology firsthand was just insane what's even cooler is after the keynote we were able to go to build an app workshop where we're actually able to build an application in unity with some assistance of course and actually see how it works where the touch screen is now used for the augmented reality device as well as seeing an app that was made for mobile actually working in the glasses it was really insane and it was just an incredible way to really understand what dual render fusion was all about once the expo floor opened up we were able to see some really cool technology that snapdragon is all a part of that's why we saw all kind of xr vr devices augmented reality glasses to actually use these xr and ar chips the ar2 the xr2 gen 1 the xr2 gen 1 plus and now even with the all new quest 3 it's it's really really exciting to see all this cool technology packed into these devices all from snapdragon now after we got the chance to look at all those devices we was also able to go through and do some really cool demo one of my favorite demos that come to mind is the kitchen demo where we actually learned how to cook while wearing ar glasses we were still able to see our surroundings but still had a really cool visual and step-by-step -step guide on how to cook out some really cool meals they had some utensils and some pans there so we can go do a mock trial of what that would look like and seeing that these devices was all powered by snapdragon once again was just insane and these ar glasses by the way were super clear much more than i've seen in previous models so really excited about how the technology is getting better and better the more and more we begin to evolve with these devices as we continued on the show floor we was able to see some really cool applications and games that still use the ar in your phone but also have like cool spectator modes that you can view in ar glasses it was really insane as we walked the show floor to really see how many companies out there are making applications that are based on technology that's you would have thought were years away and it's already here today we were playing shooters and laser tag type games and chasing around monsters it was like a dream come true for a nerd like me listen it was really enjoyable and it shows that the metaverse the xr that vr is just not dead in fact the theme that I would take away from AWE 2023 would be definitely that the metaverse is here to stay. It was so powerful to be around so many innovators in the space like Snapdragon, Xreal, Meta, Lenovo, and HTC, companies that are making XR devices today before Apple even entered the market. It really shows just how much time has been invested in these devices and how much they believe that XR and VR spatial computing is truly the future. It's something that you would just have to experience while you're physically there to really understand the vibration 
and energy in the room from so many people that's excited about the same technology at the exact same time. There were companies like Tilt 5 that's already pioneering in the augmented reality space with the AR glasses and some really cool tech. I really enjoyed the demo when I was actually able to play with it and have other people around me seeing the same thing that I'm seeing on a tabletop experience. It's something that me and Joy Rain will definitely be trying to get in our household to have for VR date nights. But this is the point I wanted to make. This is the thing I wanted to nail home. So many companies like Tilt 5 were there making already big ways in the AR, VR, XR space and Apple entering this space, to be honest, is just going to legitimize all of these amazing companies that's already been doing this for years. The stock is going up. The last thing I'm going to mention about AWE 2023 was the incredible people that we got to see in person for the first time. Seeing these incredible people that we follow and built relationships with virtually for the first time live in person in color, not passed through, was just a feeling that words can't express. And we want to thank Snapdragon once again for making it all possible and getting us out to AWE 2023. It truly was a life changing experience. And I promise you, it's going to continue to be something that we remember over here at Getting Things Done. You know what else you should remember? This channel. So why aren't you subscribed? Why aren't you hitting the thumbs up? Why aren't you comment below? Let me know how much you enjoyed this content and hit that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes because I promise you, we got a lot more content coming real soon. It's your boy Jay Dunn and I'll see you next time. Peace.